So back in the days of Proto-Indo-European, the word to was a second person singular pronoun, so that just means the person you're talking to. This pronoun had become thu in the days of Proto-Germanic, thu in early Old English, and then later on in Old English settled on thou. At that time, thou addressed one person, and ye addressed more than one person. Around the 1300s, people started using ye to address their superiors as well, and later on for an equal. Thou, however, was the most common way to address someone inferior. Shakespeare would at times use thou to indicate characters were enemies or that one character felt superior to the one they were talking to. In the 17th century, people pretty quickly stopped using thou in most English dialects. One of the main reasons is that around London, using thou could make social situations awkward if that person didn't see themselves as your inferior. It was just too awkward to decide whether or not to use you or thou. There was also a much bigger association of using the word you in polite society. By about 1650, most people speaking Southern British English had basically completely stopped using the word thou. Thou is still used today in parts of England and in Scots. Since there is no longer a second person plural pronoun, some English dialects have created new words to fill that spot, such as y'all or use. Translations from the Bible in the early 16th century stand by the old rule of thou for one person and ye for many, possibly to emphasize the fact that there is only one God in the Christian faith. In the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, thou is only used to address God. Thanks for watching.